What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. God bless this world guys. You know, we 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 live in a in a very cruel world. You know, there's a lot of cruel people out there that do a lot of cruel things. And I just want us all you know, to keep in mind that, you know, for the ones that have homes and have a good family, you have loving parents or you have a loving spouse, loving kids, be thankful for that because not everybody has that. Not everybody has food on their table. Not everybody has food on their back. I mean, uh, clothes on their backs. Not everybody has a bed to sleep in every night and not everybody has a roof over their head. Or cars or anything like that, you know. You have these things. Be thankful for the things that you have because there's so many people in the world that do not have a roof over their head. They sleep on the streets. They eat out of trash cans, you know. They constantly stress. You guys, you know, we think we stress about bills and how we're going to pay the next bill. The people that don't have any money stress about how they're going to get their next meal. Think about that for a minute. If you were on the street, okay, and you're homeless, and you're hungry, and your stomach is growling so hard that you're getting a headache from it, you know, think about that. We've all had that feeling. Think about how hard that struggle would be to worry about your next meal. So if you're worrying about a bill today, don't worry about it. God will provide, okay? God will provide. And I pray that God blesses all those people out there and all of you, all the people that are homeless, that don't have a meal. Please, God, bless those people. And God bless all of you. Let's get on with this, guys. Today we are installing the tornado script. We're going to be installing a tornado script into the LSPDFR. Now, this was asked for me, I mean asked of me, uh, by someone on my YouTube. I can't really remember who it was, but... I just want to tell you, man, thank you for this. Um, I did a LSPFR episode of this a long time ago. Uh, but this is a really cool mod, guys. Let's get right into this. Uh, go ahead and click that link down there that says Tornado Script. It's going to bring you to this page right here, Tornado Script 1.3.1. Now, I encourage everyone to read the description because it is very important. Uh, sometimes it will tell you uh, how to activate these mods, like right here, Default activation key is the f6 so that's what we're going to use to turn on the tornado guys now also you need to also always read the additional requirements okay so for this we're going to need uh the net framework 4.6.2 which everybody probably already has on your computer uh script took v and script took v.net now i will not be installing these two today okay but if you guys need to know how to install those i will leave links in the description below showing you how to install ScriptHookV and ScriptHookV.net, okay? But for those of you that already have those two installed, let's go ahead and get on with this. Click that green download button right there, guys, underneath Tornado Script. All right, and then what do you want to do with Tornado Script.zip? Guys, you can click right here and put it in your downloads folder, or as I recommend, click Save As. And then once your file explorer pops up, go right underneath where it says This PC, click Desktop, and then click save and put it right on your desktop. Also, guys, make sure you're making a copy of these mods folders, these uh, mods, so that if you ever happen to have it, happen to have it again, then you have it. Okay. Um, I don't know why I get tongue twisted so much, guys. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm growing stupid. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and close out of this, guys. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to need our Grand Theft Auto Five main directory. Now. By now, everybody should know how to locate this, okay? If you do not, I will leave a link in the, in the description below showing you how to locate your main directory as well, okay? So, let's go up here. Um, so, what you're going to need, guys, is you're going to need a scripts folder, okay? You're going to need a folder that says scripts. Now, if you do not have one, this is simply how you do it, all right? Let me straighten this up a little bit, get this up here. You're going to right click in this little white area of your file. You're going to go to new, click folder, and then just name it scripts like this. All lowercase letters, okay guys? And then you'll have a scripts folder, alright? But other than that, let's go ahead and double click on our tornado script window over here and get it opened up. 
Now, this is a very simple install, guys. I will be going in a game with you and showing you how this mod works. It's a really cool mod. Uh, so go ahead and go into your main directory and double-click on scripts. All right. And we're just going to go over here to WinRAR and highlight every single one of these files right here. And we're going to drag them and drop them in our scripts folder just like that, okay? See that, guys? And then refresh your folder, of course. Now, you can go in here if you want your... Um, if you want your your key that activates tornado different, you can go into this right here. Sorry, right here, guys. The configuration setting. Go into here, and let's get this nice and big. There we go. Right here where it says toggle script F6. Now, you can change that to whatever you want, but it has to be a function key. And what I mean by that, it has to be like F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, etc., etc. F1 through F12, any of those keys, guys. Okay, but it can't be anything else. It has to be the function keys, all right? So I'm just going to leave mine at F6. I know I've already got something set there. I think it's my roadside assistance. But I'm going to leave it on that because all of my function keys are taken up, so I don't have a choice. Um, so let's go ahead. If you guys made changes on that, go ahead and click File and click Save. Or to click X and click Save when prompted to. Let's go ahead and close out of our WinRAR. Get rid of that shortcut. And then go back to our main directory and refresh the folder. Close out of that. And I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys. So there is two ways to activate this tornado. Now, the manual way, like it said in the description, guys, is you just want to press F6 like this, okay? And your tornado is going to pop up just like that. So press the F6 on your keyboard and your tornado will spawn, okay? Now, to turn it back off, you would hit F6 again. And that's going to get rid of the tornado, okay? Just like that. Now, the other way to spawn it, the more realistic way to turn it on, is like this. Pull up your simple trainer. Go to weather. And then go to where it says force weather. And take it over to... Thunder. Whoop. How about thunder? And then you want to enable that, okay? This actually sets off the warning siren board, okay? And you will hear it here in just a second, and a warning will pop up right above the map saying Tornado Warning Issue for Los Santos and Blaine County, okay? So, give it just a second, and it'll it'll pop up. It should pop up any time. Look at that thunder and lightning, guys. Look at that. Got crazy that looks. It looks so real. Like GTA 5 is the game. It's just it's the game of, of this generation. It just really is. Okay, so there's a severe weather alert. Tornado warning issued for Los Santos and Blaine County. And if you guys have got headphones on, which I highly recommend for this video in particular, uh, you will actually hear the tornado once it spawns. You'll hear the rumble of it. It sounds like a freight train. Okay. So, it will spawn here. Okay, so there we go, right there. There it is. Tornado, it'll tell you right there, tornado spawn nearby, right above your map. All right, and I'm going to show you guys, this thing will actually suck you up inside of it. It, it tears things up. It's going to go across the gas station now. I'm actually going to get out of my vehicle and let this thing suck me up. Oh, I don't know why my guy fell. Get out, dog. Get out. Get up, man. Alright, we can get over close enough to it. Why does my dude keep falling? What is the problem? Alright, so let's get back to our truck. And uh, we'll get to it like that. So I'm going to chase this thing down. And uh, let it suck me up inside of it. Alright, we'll do it with the, with the truck. I'm going to drive right into it. All right, so see that, guys? It will, it will pull you up inside of it. It will definitely do that. Oh, look, guys. We're, oh, we're almost right in the middle of it. Are we in the middle of it? What's it like in first person? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Whoa. Man, that looks crazy. Dash cam. All right, there we go. Where'd it go? Where'd it go right here? But that's pretty much it, guys. Like, that's that's how you spawn it. And, uh, 
trying to figure out which way it's going here so I can actually get out of my truck and let it suck me up like just, just me. Alright, so it's, it's trying to get me. Yep, there it goes. Am I in God mode? Oh, I hope I'm in God mode. Okay, yeah, I'm in God mode. Right. I thought I turned it on. Just for this episode. Alright, bear shoot time. Alright, guys, well, thank you for tuning in the video. I appreciate the love and support, guys. That is pretty much it. Uh, with the tornado script. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on my YouTube. If you need any support with LSBFR, join my Discord. I have a great support team in there that can help you with any LSBFR GTA 5 issue that you have, guys. I'll leave all the links in the description below for Google Docs. Uh, you can find my Discord in there, guys. Love y'all so much. Thank you for the love and support. Pushing 4,500 so, guys. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.